welcome guys i'm going to do a pot roast chicken so let's get started here i have some blend up seasoning already which is onion scallion and thyme i all blend this in the blender already so i'm going to put some punches in my chicken just punch it to put the seasoning in so it can well prepare nicely with the seasoning so after I finish punching now I am going to put my seasoning all over I love when my seasoning go right down to the bone so I just going to keep putting on my seasoning very well you can put whatever seasoning you want because my taste is different from your taste so whatever seasoning you have and you want to put it on you can do so also but i am putting some onion here blend onion and thyme and scallion and after i finish putting this seasoning then i am going to add some all purpose some maggie all purpose and this will go well on your chicken so here i sprinkle all over inside just to make my chicken well tasty after i'm finished so i will just put the seasoning all over all over and then after putting the seasoning all over and i am going to put some browning on my chicken and this browning will give the chicken a nice nice look when it is finished don't put too much now because if you put too much on the chicken it is going to too brown and i just need that nice light brown color when my chicken is finished cook so i just put on just enough browning to give it a nice color yummy color when you get that nice attractive color then the chicken look enticing to eat more and more so all right so i am through with my browning now and i you i am using all-purpose maggi seasoning so i put on this already but this is my seasoning my favorite seasoning is this so I am just going to allow my seasoning just to soak on my chicken for a while. So my oil is in the pot. I am just going to turn around the oil a little just to grease the pot. Because I don't want my chicken to stick in the pot any at all. So I finish with that now. And I'm just going to put my chicken in the pot. Careful now when you put it in the Alright, this is your chicken. All set and ready. I'm going to cover it now. Because we have to cover it, turn down your stove. And meanwhile the chicken is steaming. I am going to continue to baste the chicken. Baste and baste until I get that lovely color until the chicken is cooked up. Over this side now, I am preparing some rice and peas. This is my peas boiling up. I am going to go ahead and prepare my coconut juice and then I'm going so to I have my coconut milk ready now for my peas and I'm just going to pour it in. Oh, it is so rich. 
yes this is my coconut milk in my peas i'm just going to take my towel now and just put this aside i'm going to do some more basin on my chicken oh look at it man look at it it is so pretty oh i'm going to base it all over and remember now i said keep moving it in the pot and when you keep moving it it prevents it from sticking in the pot so i'm basing it now basing it basing it all over okay let it stay there and catch it own color while well, i am going to talk about the seasoning for my peas here i have my garlic my scallion and my thyme i'm just going to put it in to my peas and i am going to give the peas not the peas the coconut milk like four minutes to just boil then i will have my rice guys this is my chicken it's all ready so i take it out of the pot and i place it in the dish right here but before I serve it I'm going to prepare some juice and the juice that I'm about to prepare is some pumpkin juice so I'm just going to cover my chicken a little I'm just going to, can you see the color right color is pretty and lovely okay so I'm going to cover it a little then I'm going to move over to my table here where boiled and soft just ready to blend so I'm putting in my pumpkin here oh the color is so pretty I love it the same water you boil the pumpkin with you blend it with the same water you just boil it cool it out and put it in the blender same water so all right that is my pumpkin i'm going to blend it now is ready so I'm going to pour it in my here I have my supple gel I'm going to pour it I'm going to pour it in okay you don't have to pour everything if you don't want to here I have my vanilla Benjamin vanilla is very nice so I will be just pouring some in it don't think it needs more than this you pour a little of your benjamin vanilla this is your rose and almond it goes very well in juice like sour sap and even the pumpkin ear carrot it just spice up everything so i put a little there And this is the good old Jamaican rum well I don't drink rum but if you would like a little in your pumpkin juice you can go ahead and do so here is my milk I'm going to pour in my milk now and after you do that it is all ready to drink not much because I don't love sweet but you can sweeten it the way you like so as i said a little rum can go in your little vanilla and this is your rose and almond so i'm going to sweeten up now you can put whatever milk you want in it because i don't love a lot of sweet in my juice so okay 
sweeten it now. Sweeten it, sweeten it. And till it is all set. So after you finish sweetening, you can blend all of the pumpkin whenever time you prepare, you know, because you can give it a little thicker body if you would like to, but this is just the way I like it. So you can put all of your pumpkin if you wish to and just make your juice. So I am going to taste it now to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it has a one. It has a one. So I am going to get my glass. So I'm just going to pour some in now. And I'm going to taste my juice. You have to drink it. You have to look about this. It is so refreshing. Here now, I am going to prepare the rice and peas. This is the rice and peas. It's all cooked now in the pot. So I'm going to share a little rice and peas with my pot roast chicken here. So here I have my rice and peas right here. Remember, I was preparing it before I made the juice. So my rice and peas is all set and ready now. So I am going to share my dinner. Not much. I am just going to share just a little. Here I am just going to take off the chicken leg just the leg because i love chicken leg so i'm going to going to take the leg and i'm just going to place it right there right there you see how it is pretty not too black just going to place some vegetable here with a little string bean right here tomatoes and some cucumber and this will go well with your juice so you have your rice and peas I have my juice here get this out of the way and I have my dinner well prepared at the side i'm just going to put a little here not much just a little okay and that's it for me so now this is my pat roast chicken look at it i love chicken leg so i take the leg this is my pat roast chicken i love the leg i hope you will enjoy Thank <laughs> you.